Hey guys, it's Bro Uwak, and I'm so excited to be making this video because it's the first time that we're finally gonna be getting our hands on Moira besides the BlizzCon exclusive people. So beforehand, you could only play Moira at BlizzCon, you could play it on Blizzard World, now it's finally on the PTR. And today, I just wanted to bring gameplay, explain my thoughts on her, and really go in depth with how she is a very distinct hero from the other healers, more specifically, but also how they're very similar, but how your playstyle is gonna be completely different because many people are drawing similarities to like Mercy, more specifically with Zenyatta, even somewhat of Tracer and Reaper because there's aspects of her abilities, her heal abilities, whatever the case may be, that are very similar to those heroes. And while those aspects are there, I'm not gonna lie, the way that you play with her and the way that you use these abilities are gonna be completely different. Now everyone's gonna have their different opinions on her and like, oh, this is totally a copy of Zenyatta, this is just a reworking of him. Yeah, maybe because of her ball abilities, but the way that you use those abilities is gonna be completely different than Zenyatta because what's so special about Moira is is that you you don't have unlimited heals yes you do have the regeneration ability where you like do get heals over time but it's very very slow if you solely rely on just regenerating your health so that you can distribute it to yourself but more specifically your teammates you're gonna probably be the worst healer and more specifically the more worst Moira and you might as well just go with the Zenyatta because you could be doing more heals with him now going in depth with what I mean by that let's say this let's say you do pick Moira and you're trying to be even somewhat of a primary healer because you have to find a fine balance of being a secondary healer and a primary healer, whereas Lucio and Zenyatta, they're more secondary, they're gonna worry about the team, uh, but they're also gonna be worried about getting damage. Of course, there's more way to play those heroes, but when you compare like a primary healer like a Mercy and an Ana, their main objective is to be healing their team, not really doing damage. Ana may be a little different story, but when you play Moira, you can be a primary healer, but you can benefit yourself by being a primary healer by doing a lot of damage with your soul sucking ability, but also your ball abilities. I'm just calling it that because I know, I know they're different names, but, but people know them as like the yellow ball and the purple ball But you have to find a fine balance of using all the abilities that Moira does have And that's what's so special about her and why I really do like her because you can't just willy-nilly just throw a heal ball Because maybe at the time you need the more damage dealing ball the purple ball and same thing goes with the primary file You can't just waste your heal ability on one hero because well Maybe you need to go in the thick of things like go in get your hands dirty and actually go and get some kills by using her soul sucking ability again these aren't the real names with it, but that's just how everyone knows it, or at least that's how I know it and how I remember it, and you guys know what I'm trying to say here. But just really remember that when you finally get your hands on Moira, whether it is on PTR or it is on live console and live PC, you just have to find a fine balance, because let's say this, you can't just simply go in there and just do the soul sucking ability, you can't just go in there and do damage and get kills, because now you're a bad healer, you're not even a secondary healer because you're not worrying about your team, but on top of that, you can't just waste your heal, waste your ball ability, because well, you also need to do damage on top of that because you're just wasting a spot for maybe an Ana or maybe a Zenyatta who can still give better heals. And you also have to remember that the heals also do drain. So be very smart with it because everything feeds off of each other as terms of an ability. The primary heal ability feeds off of the soul sucking ability but also feeds off of the balls who can do damage but also on top of that do heals. What's so special about Moira is that there's not going to be one correct way to play her to be an effective just player, not even just a healer because you, some healers, okay, let me let me just tell you something, okay, when it comes to Zenyatta, the way that I like to play him is more of a DPS healer, right, I, I just throw an orb, and he, the orb is just chilling on like a tank, maybe a Roadhog, maybe a D.Va, my main priority when I play Zenyatta, I'm gonna be getting kills, especially on the squishies, I'm gonna be putting a discord orb on the st tanks especially, so my main DPS can worry about that, and I can just worry about the squishies and do my own thing, when it comes to Moira, that, I don't know, I'm still figuring her out, I'm not gonna say, oh, I'm gonna strictly play it like this way, like I'm gonna be a DPS healer and then occasionally give heals. I'm gonna feel her out, <laughs> no pause on that, and decide, okay, this is my role when I play Moira. If it doesn't work with the team, then that really does suck, but that's just how I really do play Moira. But realize this, you can't just be one-sided with her. You have to find the fine balance, and I keep saying that, and I want you guys to remember that. That's why I keep repeating it and repeating it. Find a fine balance of being able to heal a team, but also use the abilities to do damage to the other team. That's just what you have to remember, and I want that to get through your head. Uh, so that when you do pick a Moira, you're wondering, oh, I thought she was a main healer. Why why am I running out of heals? Because, man, you, man, you have to find a foul balance. Get some kills, get that heal going, be a great Moira, and just go in there and be the next number one Moira player in the world. And to finish things off, I just wanted to mention her fate ability, which is very straightforward, but I, what I really do like about that is that there's finally a support hero that can feed into the flanker category. I'm talking about Tracer and Genji, and even the secondary flanker category, like with Doomfist and Farah. Uh, 
nothing really to say there. You can do some really cheeky tactics, but remember, your team has to support you so that you don't get caught with your pants down when you're, when you're behind the enemy lines on, say, Hanamura, Voskaya, or even, like, King's Road to an extent. And one last thing, her ultimate ability. Again, very straightforward. You just have to find a fine line between where, okay, I want to actually heal the team. Literally, find a fine line between healing the team and also doing damage to the enemy team because your ultimate can do both. Just don't stand in the middle of everything so that you don't get caught with your pants down because it's not like a vaporizer. It does it over time, but it's a very great ultimate ability. But overall, what I wanted to do with this video was just explain Moira and the main hero kit and what you need to do. I said find a fine balance, but that's really what you need to do because we've never really had a healer in the game that had limited heals besides Ana, but the only limitation was just healing. After you reload, you were able to shoot, shoot, shoot again. Here, yes, you do have that regeneration, but it's very slow and you can't just rely on that. So that's why I really like it because it's not a traditional heal when compared to like Mercy who just has unlimited heals. Lots of people say, oh, Mercy takes no brain, even though she does take a lot of brain and a lot of skill. Moira, on the other hand, it's gonna take a different type of skill. Whereas a DPS role might be at home when it comes to Moira, but also a healer main might also be at home when it comes to Moira, just in a different healer role aspect. So I love you guys. I think you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of Moira. Let me know if you think she's OP, if you played her. Just let me know what you think. I gave my opinions. I really do like her. She's a very unique healer, even though there are aspects of her that are shared with other heroes. So I love you guys. I think you guys for watching more watch videos to come and bye.